Cheers, everybody. Now it's with shock and horror I'm bringing you this video. I would never, ever thought this would happen. Um, basically, in a nutshell, Aldi have discontinued their Rhinebacker Pilsner. Now, over the past year, uh, well, put, put it this way, this time last year, I would never, ever think that Aldi would do that. Not in a million years. It is a very popular beer. Loads of people drink it. And... Yes, it you know, it's it's a cracking beer. So that's the original. So everything was fine in Rhinebacker Pilsner World in Aldi throughout the year. Until coming up to autumn, there's little mumblies that they were going to change it. And yes, they did change it. They changed it. And first of all, the first sign of trouble was when they dropped the ABV in the bottle version. And... Um, then other beer reviews had noticed a big difference in it. Hence, it came out as that one. The Rhinebacker Peel, premium peels. Are, as you can see, the premium is kind of like disappearing. You know, the premium's disappearing in the background. And I did a comparison between these two. And, you know, to cut a long story short, boys and girls, this wasn't a patch on the original. Nowhere near. So the original way so what we were left with was this wine back of pilsner and it just tasted like a cheap beer i don't know if they put less um kind of like um less less ingredients in it or whatever it just felt thin and cheap so i thought myself let's compare compare it now to the pearl and backer premium pills from lidl now the pearl and backer premium pills in Lidl, uh, I did a comparison with the original Winebacker. It was nowhere near as good as the original Winebacker. Nowhere near as good. But I put it up against this new one, and it was a, it was a better beer. It really was. So that was another kick in the balls for it, as you know. So we're still left with this crap. So then it came to the point, well, if I want to go into Aldi and get a Pilsner, get a Pilsner beer, what would I buy? I certainly wouldn't buy that, but I needed to do a comparison. So I've got the 1079 project, which is available on Aldi. And uh, to be honest with you, that blew it away. That blew that away. So Aldi have decided this, to discontinue this beer. Um, and the thing is, which I think they're going to do, this is my opinion, I think they will bring, they're obviously, they must know, they're not, you know, they're not fools, are they, Aldi? They're not fools. If people ain't happy with something, they will know about it. And to be honest with you, if you're happy with that, then there must be something wrong with you, because it's not a patch on that. So they've decided to discontinue it, not to revert back to the original which i think they should do they should reintroduce this back put original recipe on or something on the can to say that it's back to its normal self no they discontinued it so what i think they're going to do is they're going to bring out another pilsner under another name that's what i think they will do um but at the end of the day it's a bit of a it's a, the whole thing is a bit of a balls up. It really is, and it's and it's all down to Aldi for doing this. Um, if you know, if something isn't broken, don't try to fix it. And that is exactly what Aldi have done. And to be honest with you, um, Lidl for me personally have you know have got a one big foot forward in the craft beer and the beer stakes for me. Lidl are doing it right. Lidl have done some great little beer festivals, got some great beers in, and they're going in the right direction regarding beer. Where Aldi's concerned with me, they're going backwards. Um, I went in Aldi a few weeks ago, and there's really nothing there to be get excited about. So all I can say is this present situation regarding Aldi and their cheapo kind of like beers, um, 
it's not good, to be honest. It's not good. So um, that's my opinion on it. Um, this is a collector's item now. And I'll tell you what, boys and girls, after I've drunk this, this is going in that cabinet to remind everybody what a great beer the original Rhinebacker Pilsner was. Sad days indeed. See you on my next one. Cheers.